Hi guys, my name's Ken, and I'm one of the teachers here. You might remember me from the previous cheese video, which I, I do hope you enjoyed. Today though, I want to talk with you about the future. Now, when talking about the future, what tense should you use? It depends entirely on what you want to talk about. For example, with timetable or scheduled events, use the present simple. I start work at 8.45 and I finish work at 6.30. These things are set to a scheduled time. Maybe you're travelling, in which case you could say, my train leaves at 3.15. And you know, of course, just general word of advice, don't miss your train. Don't do that. <laughs> but what about going to? Well, two of the most common uses of going to are predictions and arrangements. Let's start with predictions first. When we use going to with a prediction, we're talking about a prediction based on present evidence. For example, the sky looks really dark. I think it's going to rain. My present evidence is that the sky is really dark, and my conclusion is that it is going to rain, or that rain is very likely to happen. But now, what about intentions? To be clear here, when I use going to to talk about intentions, I mean arrangements that I have made with myself, and not another person. Let's take our average working week, for example. Let's say, this week has been really stressful, so this weekend I am going to stay at home and do nothing. Which would be lovely, right? <laughs> but in, in any case, this is the arrangement that I have made with myself. With present continuous, it changes slightly. Rather than an arrangement just with myself, it's an arrangement that I've made with another person. I could say, for example, I'm meeting some friends on Saturday. I've called them up, I've maybe messaged them on Facebook, and we are going to meet. This is our arrangement together. Now, you need to be careful, because so many of our sentences involve the verb to go. So many, in fact, that when people hear the word going to, they instantly think we're talking about the future, which isn't the case. Have a look at these two sentences, for example. The first one, I'm going to go to the cinema on Sunday. Here, I'm talking about an arrangement that I've made with myself, and not with another person. But in the second one, I'm going to the cinema on Sunday, this is an arrangement that I've made with another person. Say, for example, I've called a friend and he's agreed to go with me, or I've booked a ticket online already. In both cases, though, my plan has developed from an intention into an arrangement. Well, that's all I've got time for for today. I hope this has been of use to you. Have a great week.